Yeah, okay, so he's having some mic issues right now, but that's okay. I could, like, talk to him over chat. Alright, so we got some Falco Fox. Oh, man, this is a hard matchup, let me just say, as my opinion. I think Fox wins the matchup because of how simple he can make it. Like, Fox can just full hot back air and beat a lot of Falco options. And I'm just like, man, that's really sad about how uh, <laughs> easy it could be sometimes. In terms of just, like, gameplay, right? Falco has to, like, catch a landing, get the shine. If he spot dot shines, that's great, but that's hard sometimes. You don't always get free opportunities like a spot dot shine. You have to work hard for those hits against a Fox. Oh, his mic is zapped up. All right, no problem. Um, tch -tch. No problem, finesse quick. All right, so let me just... All right, the main thing I want to ask you right now is what do you think you should be doing in the matchup? Because I want to give you tips where you are able to express yourself the best. I don't want to, like, force any major game plan changes if we could help it. So let's see uh, if you can just give me a quick perspective, like one sentence of what you want to do versus Fox as Falco. I have my opinions and then we'll try to like strengthen yours. So I'll put this Falco Fox, uh, I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. You think your main focus is on getting the neutral down pattern? Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> Ooh. You think Fox's speed makes you roll again, lose space? Roll a lot. Okay, okay. So that's what you want to improve on your neutral game. That's very, very hard to do in terms of neutral. And if your problem you think is rolling and losing space, let's try to see where you could just substitute your rolls for something else. So it's again, you're facing a very good Fox in the matchup. You'll get hit once and die. <laughs> so we'll see exactly like where we can improve on. It's, this is going to be hard. Let me just say when we look at this and like, Let's let's see exactly what we could do better. And I think if one of the problems is uh, losing space, let's try to make it. If you roll, you do a good roll. And if you want to be covering ground, you can roll and get ground. Falco's roll is really good. Like, I feel bad for saying this, but my main strategy for Falco is getting a roll shine. If I can get a roll shine, I feel like I win any matchup. <laughs> and it's stupid. Stupid silly about when I say it, when it sounds like that, but roll is really good. Falco is really good, and shine is very good. So let's try to see in neutral um, how to replace roll or use it in better places. So that's what we're gonna focus on in this uh, match right now. Okay, so let's get started. I haven't been able to watch it uh, yet, but. If we have those general ideas down of what we're looking for, then that'll give us a good idea of what to head into. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> is this not? Oh, okay. It is working. It, is working. it just wasn't like putting on the screen. I can really see. Oh, you did a really good laser already. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. So that's what that's what you're talking about. That roll there. Okay, okay. All right. Um, we'll watch a bit more of this stock, and we'll go back to this to see what else you can do. Uh, I'm gonna mute the commentary. Actually, sorry. I'll see if I can make this sound as low as possible. Spot dodge there, awesome. 
Oh, dude, that's hard. It's Yoshi's. You don't have much space. You have to roll or spot dodge a lot of times. Oh, okay. So that was an alright roll. Uh, is this actual tournament? Yeah, right? No. Oh. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. It's oh, yeah. Lucky versus... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> He's missing his punishes. One open. Rap just in case one. they call it. You entered today, right? No, I didn't enter. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, alright. So let's look over the two rolls that you did. And I don't think they were that bad. Don't say that, like, uh... Oh, I mean, yeah, you did lose face. Okay, let, let's see what we could do here. So we're going to start from the beginning. You already get a great opportunity, let me just say. This laser, this jump laser in the beginning, and you get center. Oh, man. <laughs> let me just say, if you just wave dash forward instead of back, uh, we can, uh, I can't really, like, I actually can't do um that many good things of playback on the My Circle TV. I don't think so. Room functions on player. Nope. Oh my god, I made this way too big. <laughs> okay, okay. But let's watch that situation again. So, you do a great laser forward in the beginning. You already get into a. Uh, you already get into it. If you wave dash forward, you could have gotten a shine or something. And it like got the combo even faster. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first roll that you do. This is uh, really risky to roll here because you see him... He up smashed you. And he's tech chasing, he's actionable. He's gonna dash dance in the center to see what you could do first. And instead of rolling right here, afterwards, you're... you're you, Roll out of reaction because you're scared, like, oh my god, he tech chased me with an up smash. He might tech chase me again with an up smash. But you have to consider all the options that Fox has and just in general what the player wants. And as Fox, as other characters, um, especially... Why can't I close this? You look at the percents right here. Fox can't do much if you crouch cancel things. So I think Lucky's here trying to cover center so that if you do a bad approach he'll hit you or grab you which he does um or otherwise he's not going to risk coming at you in the corner just in case you move forward with a crouch and if he goes in with a nair or a bad approach then you'll crouch cancel punish him or if he shields or if you shield you did shield at first and then roll so if you just held shield while he was dash dancing and he like nared you, he would be in a bad spot. So that's why he's just staying safe right now. He's It's the beginning of the match. He doesn't know what you're going to go for. He's going to take the safe option. So let's say instead of what to do... Alright, so this is a one tip already. Alright, so instead of, instead of rolling... Immediately. So this is your first option you think of is when you get tech chase, you're rolling immediately. So instead of rolling uh, out of tech chase, and he's already dash dancing still. Because it's Yoshi's, he's already cornered you. He could dash dance in center stage and he's safe. Like if this was FD and you rolled all the way to the corner, he might have to dash forward and then rolling is actually really good if he's in the run animation. So instead of rolling out of your tech chase while... Fox dash dances. Um, at this situation, if you just held shield, that would have been okay. And then you could wave dash to the ledge. But I think, of, in my opinion, if you want to be aggressive and defensive, actually, and just like be able to control space again, you could shoot a laser. So in general, with Falco, all you want to do with your moves before you go in is shoot a laser and then go in. That should be your main game plan as Falco. You don't use a move unless you can uh, lag behind it with a... You don't throw out a move unless you have a laser in front of you. Sorry, I was thinking backwards and saying, I'm always considering you behind the laser already because uh, that's how Falco should play. Like, why not? If, you're, if you don't want to use a laser before your moves, then you're just a slower fox. So I say instead of rolling out of your tech chase, 
Uh, this is the first thing you do. Instead of rolling, you just short hop laser. And this is a way that you will be able to take space again. And if he just like tech chases you with a Nair immediately too, that would have beaten, that would have lost his shield. That would have tech, like hit with a tech chase anyway. And if you jump laser, it's not that much more time. It would have lost to a lot of the same things. Um, but it won't lose to this dash dance in the center, right? Because uh, he's already not coming at you. If he was going to come at you, he would have beaten like a few options already. But if your goal is to get neutral again and control the stage, then short hop lasering after your tech chase is one way to do it. Imagine if this roll actually did work, then you also got in. But that's like, again, such a good thing if you roll back onto, from a tech chase into the middle of the stage that... Lucky will try to look out for that. Any Fox player at a high level will like, dude, I don't want him to roll back on like into the center of the stage. So he's covering that first. He's covering your by far best options first. And if you if you get that roll into a shine, you know, it's amazing. Right, so let's go back. And then we'll see your second roll on the second stock. Like, that's a lot of micro situations right there uh, you that lower, you lost. But again, you if you just follow the... If you follow the general game plan of Falco game plan. Laser. Uh, what is it? Always have a laser in front. If that's your main game plan, that's, like, a really good place to start. And it, in those sh short situations, like, you're just, like auto cancel bearing if fox just runs away he can punish it so he did punish you for it we'll just go back to it again you get up smash you roll in you get grabbed right so you auto cancel back aired and then you were cornered or you were like oh shoot i had to do something so you spot dodge and punished it. but that was because you missed the auto cancel there hey, can you lower can you lower mine a little thanks that roll was actually okay, more so if you rolled the other way. Uh, he just missed the punish on that. Hey, can you lower? So, I wish we could slow down on here. Can we slow down on here? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll ask Drug Fox on this later. Settings. Nah, I can only get the quality. But that's okay. You can you can watch this again on your own. So you uh after this situation, the micro situation, you're like trying to hit, and then you roll in. I think that might have been a mistake or something, or like oh damn, I really want to get the stage again and corner him more. Um, if you were in this situation, I would have rolled to the left to be defensive again because if he gets like a shine on you. He's faster character than you and can outmaneuver you in tighter spaces. So he gets shine, grab, space back here. Uh, he misses the punish though. But here's can another situation where a roll was you. good. It's just, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> you're like taking the longer distance through him. And oh man, if you rolled away again, that would have been good. Rolling those three situations were not bad. It's just like if you rolled away instead of towards him, uh, you would have no, avoided it. Oh, I know. Because I'm not. Because I'm like a little sick. Just a little bit. Nah, oh, he recovered after that shot. Like you know how it kind of wears down your head? Your mind? Oh, uh, you're go getting these. Oh, man. <laughs> you're getting these dashes into the shine. You're just knocking the shine out. Like, I think your offense would actually be fine. Like... Right now, we don't really have to worry about your offensive options. You're doing good, actually. You're getting in situations where you should win. Like, you're really getting in with a dash, and then you're crouching instead of inputting the shine. Oh, it's like, oh, you're so close to getting these. And you really don't have to, like, feel bad about uh, your offense or anything right now. It's, it's like, it's almost there. <laughs> like, you have these chances. I think everyone here knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And then you don't want to die. Rolling away. That was a good roll. That was actually a really good roll. 
wasn't sick, I would have been that yeah. guy. If I wasn't sick, I wouldn't have fallen for the reverse angle. <laughs> Dude, you know how hard it is to just cut off. Oh my gosh, angle. you're rolling in a lot. Yeah. Huh. You're rolling through him each time. I'm wondering what you could... So this is a... Rolling in. Let's see what you can do otherwise. Alright, so again, you're on Yoshi's. It's hard to get a laser in place already because it's such a tight situation. I'm going to tell you the dumbest... Uh, not the dumbest, but the simplest thing. Is you have to you have to ledge dash. Um, just telling you now, the most broken aspect of this game is the ledge, and what you could be doing. He's really close to you a lot of these times. You don't down anyone. You so he's right there. He's already. I wish we can get this exact frame. Let's try to. It later. I can't like move with. Oh, I could move with frame by frame still. Oh, I could do frame by frame. So look how close he is. If you ledge dashed through him, you would have gotten on. So uh, this is one situation where if you ledge dashed, he wouldn't. He could have actually like back aired you out of this down air, um, but he he like uh, did not. He just held cheat a little bit too far. I think he full hop by accident. Oh, he tried to drill you. <laughs> I think he full hop instead of short hop, so he didn't get the punish. But ledge dash would have been perfectly good to get back on. Uh, again, another way to get out of the corner is to do the mango thing, double laser out of off the ledge. It doesn't work in those situations when he's so close, but it is an option. Like it, it works sometimes. It's only like medium distance, long distance. You can also think of that too. But especially um, in the tight situations, you have to get your ledge dashes down. I'm sorry. It's just like this is a thing you got to practice and grind. And Falco has a really good ledge dash. I forgot the invincibility frames, but it's only like a couple frames off of Fox's ledge dash, which is incredibly broken. And I know West Balls has ledge dashed to me in between these platforms and shined me. And it's like, look how far that is. Like, you're on center stage with a ledge dash on your shoes. Uh. Okay, okay. So we, we figured out He's done to yourself. that situation. If I wasn't sick, I would have been that guy. If I wasn't sick, I wouldn't have fallen for the reverse angle. <laughs> that was a good short. You know how hard it is to just oh, yeah. If you So that one, let, he's covering the ledge dash there. Because he's like on the very end of the platform. There, you could like double jump onto the close part. You can ledge dash down too. And like get a laser out. When he, when he has space like that, where he can't just like fall down and back here. Let's see if we can go back. Why isn't it working anymore? Why isn't my period working? I need to figure out this, my TV. God dang it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you saw there, he like even jumped away. If you ledge dash down, you would have had another chance to get back on. How hard it is to just try to approach you at late and not get reversed up in. And then, yeah, that's... Yeah, once you get in that yeah, bad situation, sorry, it's just like, oh, yeah, I just It's all I know how to do. <laughs> I, just I suck. That's why I suck, guys. But it looks Ooh. flashy. Yeah. Like Alright, then set. probably the next game, we'll just go over, <laughs> like, how to laser a little bit better. Well, um, so, oh, he lived! You think he's gonna take it? Think he's gonna oh, no. He's gonna do a shine puppy. <laughs> I definitely think he's about to take this fourth stock. I have no faith in him. That was a good roll. Oh, Dude, oh, your rolls are sorry. good. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. So, yeah. I, I think half of your rolls were really good, actually. And then half of them were, like, not so good. You're, like, really banking on him just not hitting them. Even though you're going the shortest... You're going to end up at the shortest distance next to him after your roll. But this was a really good example of a good roll. Let's see if we can find I that I definitely again. think he's about to take this fourth stock. I have... So he like dared through you. Please, uh, 
commas don't don't oh, fuck. Why isn't this working anymore? I'm gonna blame my keyboard. He's about to take this. All right, so yeah, he drifted through you with this drill. And this is the, actually the best situation to roll in. And you did it perfectly where he's going through you, you're rolling away. You want to cover the most distance on your roll and get away from him. That's what your roll is in a defensive situation. We can try to figure out a roll in an offensive situation, but I don't think uh, you need it right now in this particular match. You didn't really have a chance to do an offensive roll. But this is a really good roll. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out. I have no faith in this. Oh. Oh, he would have had to Sorry. read that roll. Sorry. That's the only Sorry. option that would have covered up. was that roll. Was that a like, yeah. I think it was. Oh. <laughs> Lucky is feeling himself. That was a good come down too. He just came straight down compared uh, to down there before. Oh, I like his so yeah, you're, you're learning. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice name. Oh man. Oh, I think I have a match. Oh, you did. All right, but um, all right. Summarize the first game. You got a little bit panicky when he tech chased you, and then you rolled in a lot. So we're gonna change the rolls in with a ledge dash if they're close by, or if he's far away, you just jump. In place and laser. You can jump forward if he's also going away. But one time you tried to laser, he was already coming at you. So you just have to be really wary about how close you are on Yoshi's. It's such a small stage. If you jump forward in Yoshi's, it's such a huge commitment compared to you jump forward on a bigger stage like Dreamland and FD and Stadium. But yeah. You'd love to go over using lasers a bit more. Yeah, yeah, let's let's try to see where example, for example, where you can go with the laser. So you saw this Nair here. One, the reason why you lost this game was because you came in with the Nair and he just moved out of the way. He just jumped straight up. So you, you get the shield grab, which is good. Oh, I like his name, Finesse Quick. So that Nair, that Nair right there. If you lasered in place first and then followed up with that Nair, the laser might have caught his full hop. Can we please move away? So he's full hopping. This Nair is not going to catch him. He's already out of the way. Uh, he's rising up. You're coming down. And if you just lasered and then Nair, one, the timing would have been different. And you might have caught him with the Nair. But also, he has to hit, watch out for two hitboxes instead of one now. So this is where if you lasered, the laser could have caught him. Or the Nair could have caught him. But usually the laser will catch him first, and then your Nair will go in and catch him too. So this is an example of before you go in with a move, you use a laser. Ayong, hello, hello. Oh, Mama, okay, I'll uh, move the mic closer to me. Thanks, thanks. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the second match, and we'll try to see where we can use a laser. That's a pretty nice name. You had a very good first laser. Let me just say, the very first thing you did was jump forward and laser. This is a great laser. If you do more of these lasers, so so you saw him, he like stood in place and lasered, and you jumped forward and took space with that laser. If you followed up with a jump nair, it would have been amazing. Or, sorry, jump shine. <laughs> jump nair would have gotten punished. But this was really good. You know, like, you are doing good lasers. You just have to do them more. Okay, so Stadium is a great, great stage in terms of space where you can get a laser. So you should be lasering and then doing stuff uh, because these side platforms really help shield you. Ah, that's okay, you messed up a little bit there. You got- oh, you got the spot that shine. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, he was- 
because obviously he was going to make it. Yeah, you definitely could have gotten that kill with a down air edge guard. It's okay. It's all right. It happens. Oh, no, that up B was really bad there. So let's just watch that stock again. So this entire uh, stock where you get a bunch of good percent, it was because of a spot dot shine. And you have to like take those with like, I'm very gracious I got this spot dot shine. Don't really go for it that much because again, it's not a huge movement. If they look out for it, then you'll get punished for the spot dodge like you did the first game. He like messed up slightly and you got it. Um, and you should just like, Holy crap, I got this opportunity. I'm going to take it to the bank. You have to really just capitalize on that. Because otherwise, you have to work so much harder, right? You have to deal with Fox Full Hop and whatever. So when you get a, a spot dot shine like this, make sure to like really take it as far as you could. And that's uh, with just like just getting that edge guard with a down air. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close. It was really close. Those are great wave dashes, by the way. And then you could have gotten that, but you just drift a little bit off. <laughs> you freaked out. Yeah, dude, don't freak out. That's the easiest opportunity to get. And you saw how his ledge dash helped him get on stage. That roll was good, too. This was a good roll. Yeah, that's where you could have lasered, right? So this is where you could laser. Really, uh, we have our game plan. Always have a laser in front. And when you're in center, and I think what you can, as a good, like, I think a good way to, like, view the distance of where you can safely laser is, let's say, if... Fox can't jump forward near you, then that's a really safe time to throw out a laser. And you just gotta do it all the time when he's not in jump near position uh timing and position. So let's let's make that as our first skyland. When in center, um even in corner actually. Using more lasers when Fox out of jump forward near range. I think that's a very good general guideline you could have, and then you'll be able to get used to it more. Uh, and you'll be able to throw out more lasers and more moves after you get like, all right, so I'm doing this at one of the safest distances I can. Let me work around that. So let's just have that as a starting point, where if I think you will kind of understand where the jump forward and air range is. It's basically this like center stage of stadium. Where, like he jumps from the ledge and like reaches this end of the side platform from the corner it's like this corner or this platform distance and the corner Let, let's let's make that as our first guideline and then we'll work there on when you could throw out more lasers and then you can like jump backwards in laser you can jump forward in laser you can jump in place in laser there's a lot of ways to laser and those are like really huge nuances that really make the falcon a game complicated and also amazing right you have all these options with a laser in your jump we'll start there uh finesse quick and then once you get that down you can move in to like throw out lasers in tighter situations so if you get the those basics and safe positions down that'll be super good you know get all the easy things first Relatively easy things. These are not, it's not easy to edge guard Fox, I swear. <laughs> Even with Falco, it's not. You see all the KGH videos these days. Obviously he was gonna make how hard it is edge guard Fox. This is a great roll. Yeah, I was wanting to point it out. That was a good roll. It was uh, not the best roll, obviously. Because you did get a little bit cornered and punished afterward. Like, you got a little bit punished, but it wasn't bad at all. That was a. Like, you saw him a little bit slow off the nair. He didn't fastball that nair perfectly, so that was a good time to roll. Optimal again would be going to ledge and ledge dashing. It's over. <laughs> this game is lame sometimes. 
It is pretty loud. A little bit loud. That was a good crouch cancel we killed, too. It was really loud. Um, Ooh. And that's good. Well, it's kind of moving the first. Right there, too. Okay, so in a defensive situation, um, you really got to get the laser when he's out of jump forward near range. But let's say you want to be offensive. You have to... What you want to do is laser and then jump forward dare, right? It's just a very simple, simple game plan, too. I think we should put it... We should just put down these two notes. I usually give three notes, but it's fine to give more than three notes. I have some note cards as five sentences. For example, my Falcon matchup, Sheik versus Falcon. I have like five detailed sentences of what I need to do against Falcon and how to like DI some things. Against Puff, all I have is one sentence, Sheik Puff. It's to get away. And I, that's what gets me in the mindset. So if we have these... These four sentences, I think it's perfectly fine. It's all up to you. If it's like too overwhelming before a match, we can cut it down here and there. But we got time. We got time. We got three sets together. At least, right? So yeah, you want to laser if you can jump forward dare them. If you want to be offensive with it. So this is more defensive. When Fox is out of that range, and you want to control the space, and when you want to take space, uh, defensive control space. And this is using more lasers, offensive, take space. I think those are two like really good tips to have. Just like, all right, my defense is when they're out of jump near range, you're going to shoot a laser. Offense, I want to jump in and dare, I'm going to shoot a laser beforehand. Jump forward near is way better, by the way. <laughs> it's bigger range if you want to take, take space. But if you get that dare, it's way juicier in a combo. First dog. Well, like, I don't, like, uh, I yeah, dare at low percent. It just doesn't do enough these days. He's keeping it kind of even right now. Huh. Oh. oh. Steve Dode, is my mic muted or are you deaf? I think my mic is not picking up the sounds as well as it could. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me see right now if I can. It's really weird. Why is my mic so low? No, that's my desktop audio. This mic isn't picking up much right now. Ah, uh, how's that, guys? Is that way better? Dude, Steve Dode, I was actually using the wrong mic. I needed to put this way closer if I were to use that mic, but I have another mic, and I just wasn't using it. Thanks so much for catching it. I, I actually caught it beforehand. Oh, man. It's way, way better. Holy crud, guys. You guys should have said more. <laughs> I just was like, wait, you're right. It's not picking up my mic very well. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? And I know why it was happening. Because one, this wasn't close enough. Two, I wasn't using the secondary mic. Uh, finesse quick. There are a lot of situations you could use up tilt. Yes and no. So up tilt only catches like full hop really effectively. And what he was doing, he was controlling space way better. If you up tilted in place, I think Lucky would have just punished it. So that's like you feel like you can use up tilt, but that's only because it's like the juiciest move to hit. And when West Balls gets an up tilt, he just destroys them, right? That's like where you're like, oh, I really got to up tilt more. But he does them in situations where he knows they're going to come in. It's a lot harder than you think to uh, stand there and up tilt because you're not moving. You know? You're not moving forward. You're not taking space. Uh, 
Oh, uh, I guess the full volume was fine because I don't have music on and I don't have like the commentary on. So <laughs> sorry, guys. Now I got the mic running again. I'm just so tired from work today. All righty, all righty. Let's let's go on. Let's watch the rest of this match. I think we got some really good tips down that you could work on, and then once you implement them, you'll have a lot more to work with. Ooh, oh man, this is scary. You're like. So let's see this. Let's see this. Okay. All right. This was an okay offensive roll. If you did it faster, if you just landed with a down air and then rolled as soon as you could to get him, then you might have been able to shine while he was in the dash dance. But the fact that he already like reacted to you there and just stopped, he like dash dance and then stopped right here, then you should not have rolled. When he was, if he was dash dancing still, then that's a great time to roll offensively. Yo, Linz, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Holy crud. I hope TwitchCon was actually not as bad as people said, too. <laughs> Sahab, hello. Uh, because he was actionable, right? Yes, yes. That's exactly why uh, for next click. Because he's actionable, he could react more quickly, you know? Um, but otherwise... It was actually the right idea to roll in. I actually don't think that was necessarily a bad roll in if you just did it a bit sooner. If you were already rolling here, then you might have caught him. Let's just say that. Yeah, don't feel too bad about your rolls, man. <laughs> Falco rolls good. <laughs> You're getting a lot of shines on him here. Oh man, that was, yeah, yeah, when he's dash dancing. Okay, okay, so when he was dash dancing there, he had more space, even though like, you just had to catch it at the right time, right? So you rolled in again. But he was already coming back. If you chased him with the roll while he was dash dancing towards the ledge, then it would have been so good. It would have been amazing. It's just really hard to get at that timing because he's already coming at you now and like gonna avoid any action, right? So he saw you rolling and he started like going forward again. It was so close. If he just like rolled earlier also, it would have been amazing again. But uh, he caught you. Yo, Linz, I don't think I can get into you today. I'm so tired. I need to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow for work, too. But uh, next time, for sure, I'll be available. And I'm glad uh, Smashers made TwitchCon awesome. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry for this quick. Let's go on. All right, the commentator said it was a bad roll. That's not a bad roll. Like, come on, like, come on. No, don't, don't say that. There's nothing inherently good or bad in this game. That roll is fine if you did it at a different timing. Oh, <laughs> he made up for that. Who's commentating? Who's commentating? I'm gonna... That was a good roll, okay? That was also a pretty good roll. Let's see that again. I think this roll was fine. So he does like a not so good back here. And you could have crouch canceled this, right? You could have crouch canceled shined it. But really, if a fox was doing something here, he could have down aired and you can't crouch cancel that. You have to like SDI away on it. You know, so it's just like the fact that you already were preemptively rolling is fine because I would have expected a down air from Fox. I think he tried to turn around and like do something. I don't think this back air was a good move by Lucky, especially at your low percent. Yeah, that, that, that was even if you got a strong hit, you could have crouch canceled it.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're at 3%. Oh, you, so you, you did jump into it, and it's okay to roll away at this this point, you know? It's like... You were already, like, scared. Oh, I got hit by a weak hit. This is fine time to roll away. This is this is all right. Not a bad roll at all. That was also a pretty good roll. <laughs> it wasn't the best roll, again, because he was doing stuff but it wasn't a bad roll these aren't bad rolls did we did we skip it already Fuck. <laughs> so he rolled see he rolled in after you jumped there that was a good roll by him too rolls are not bad in this game in fact i spent like a month learning at how to roll against the spaces as chic how to get out of the corner with a roll it's literally just helped me so much So you also roll when he like comes in with an approach. If he did not up smash, he would have had to like keep on dash dancing. And that's where our tip of if you lasered instead, if he was dash dancing, you could have won a situation. So that was a mix up right there. And the fact that he came in with an up smash and you rolled, it worked out in a situation, even though you're only rolling, right? Just because you're rolling all the time is not a bad thing. You did roll in some good situations like this. Again, you have to mix in the, instead of rolling, you short hop laser during like corner and whatnot. Ah, oh, you need a laser there. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, otherwise it was fine. It's just like, You, you are right in that you did lose a lot of situations where you were rolling, but you did some good rolls too. Like you don't have to, you don't have to like really focus on like your bad rolls. You could also focus on your good rolls too. But um, yeah, I'm sorry that my mic was not the fullest volume <laughs> beforehand. I hope you were able to get something. I think cause you're on discord, you could hear it better. All right, you definitely heard me. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. I think my Discord setting is fine with the mic, and then my uh, Streamlabs was not fine with the mic. Mic. Let me let me just double check. Yeah, yeah, my my Discord was super good with the mic, and then my Streamlabs was not. Sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, that Rags little emote is amazing. One thing you're really trying to work on is you overuse shine. That's not a bad thing. Shine is the least committal move out of all your moves. So if there's one move to overuse, it's shine. You had some good opportunities for, like you, you just missed some shines. Like, in the first game, you miss a lot of times where you wave dash in and just did not shine, you know? I think you should shine more. <laughs> Yo, Jesse. Jesse, I just did a Falco Fox analysis. I need your help in this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise... Um, Finesse quick. You you got most of you you do have a lot of opportunities where you could capitalize more and um yeah, no, don't worry. Just uh keep on working at it, dude. Is there any other questions you have before we leave for today? I'm gonna send you these tips right now on Discord. But yeah, don't worry too much about your shine uh rolls <laughs> and your shines. One last thing. Okay, yeah, just ask away. Wanted to know how well you're combo DIing. Uh, it's not the best, but everyone's combo DI needs work, right? Especially against Fox, you're just gonna get comboed to death. <laughs> it's hard to combo DI. Especially when, like, he's hitting you with great moves. Uh, for comboing, so. 
Let, let, so let's look at the up smash here, for example. The up smash that happened here, if you wanted a combo DI, you could SDI all the way away. So what you have to do on your control stick is really just slam it as fast as you can horizontally so that one, you're SDIing uh, well, and then also that you're getting the full DI. You're not getting the full DI on this. And this is just like a really crappy situation. Actually, you could hold down on the C-Stick here for up smash. So one, you have to hold down on the C-Stick on vertical hits at low percent, but also you have to get your full DI. It's kind of weird on a lot of things, but um, I might have just said two contradictory things. Hold on, let me let me take it back. When you're when you're getting comboed with up smash and up air at low percent, I don't know if this will. I'm pretty sure if you held down on the C sick while you get up attacked, you could tech it and then shine. I'm not too sure at fifteen percent. I'm pretty sure you could do it. Um, but if you're a higher percent, then you could also just get your full DI for your combo DI, right? If we're talking about just that. Uh, ASDI down, tech shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially on up smash and up air from Fox. Um, but yeah, that's that's really complicated. If you can just get full DI out, that's also fine. We can work on some things at a time. Don't work on like too many things at once. Like me, when I was like trying to like learn SDI and ASCI down and full DI away, I've literally only been doing this after like the last two months of learning. Like, you know, my DI isn't as far as it could be. I literally just did a Jug Fox lesson in my big house set. I got comboed because I can't do the full day I di away all the time and you just need that <laughs> you just really really need that but yeah that's like a couple things yeah it's yeah, focused a bit on time we have a couple more set reviews we we got this you know if as long as you focus on one thing get it out of the way that you don't have to learn it again then That'd be great. Awesome. I hope this does actually help a ton and you see some improvement in, in your gameplay, especially in your next round. You have Nimbus, you have Training Mode Tuesdays. I mean, you probably have to drive 90 minutes to each, which sucks because <laughs> SoCal. Um, but, you know, it's, it's great practice. It's great times. I love SoCal's region. It's my favorite. I can't wait to actually go for the mango and stuff. Hope to see you there. Uh. All right, yeah, yeah, come come find me, say hi. We'll talk, we'll chat. I have a drink or so. Play, yada, 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 you know, all that good stuff. All right, you're gonna log off, I'm gonna log off. Good night to you, we'll schedule the next one. Uh, yeah, we'll just message each other. Easy, easy. All right, have a good night. All right, oh my gosh. So I got two set reviews done today. Um, and I got a net play session and it went to game five. Holy crud, I am very tired. Yeah. I am very tired, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again for the Mewtwo King viewers that stick, stuck around. It's really great that you guys are still here. If you are, I'm really glad. Thank you again, Mewtwo King, for the host slash raid. It's been awesome. And I'm really glad I got some more followers tonight, too. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Oh, my God. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky followed in this. I didn't even notice. I was just making sure, like, I get, like, the set review down. And I feel a little bit bad, too. I got distracted by chat, but I got to keep you guys entertained, too. And, uh, yeah, these they're streamed so that you can get recorded for the analysis. 
it's, it's all easy if we just stream it together anyway. And hopefully you guys learned as well. Hope these are helpful in the end. I feel like we all can just learn a bit about just like, all right, you gotta just do these few things. Just stop doing some things, start doing a few others and we'll improve a lot. So that was my theme for Summit. Just like do as little work as you can at a time and you'll slowly improve, but you'll improve. And if you just keep on slowly improving, you improve a lot over time, right? All right, I am going to be out now. I'm very tired. I have to wake up for at 6 a.m. tomorrow and go to an 8 a.m. meeting. It's going to suck. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll be streaming tomorrow. More set reviews and such. I think so. I don't know what I have scheduled tomorrow. <laughs> I got to double check. All right, good night, guys. I will host, I'll host Axe, I'll host Axe.